Hi, my name is Vet. I'm going to be your art instructor today. Today's project is called an ornament spinner and I made one that just has one ornament on it but I'm going to also show you how to do multiples and the basics for this one is you just spin it around. It has a little wooden stick back here and it has a little tiny spool that holds it above the surface and you can spin it around. Now I've used a wooden that it's an ornament that I had from many years ago and I just decorated it. And as you can see, you can use any design that you like. I hand painted this one because I love candy and it's sugar free, I like that. You can also decorate CDs. You can also use decals. These have just been peeled off and stuck on the back. And what you would do is you, instead of having this bow, I would just stick this on there. So you can glue them on with regular glue. Tacky glue is always good because it's a good hole. You can also create your own little small ornaments and cluster them together. Maybe put two or three on here. So, but you decide because there's so many different ideas out there that you can use. I started out with a stick that was this long. Put that over here. But before I glued it on, I cut it. And so you're just going to take some pliers and or if you have some heavy duty scissors and you cut it. They're about maybe two inches long and then you glue it into the spool. Now if the spool hole is larger than the stick, you just put a little piece of paper down in here with a few little drops of glue, like so. And then you just wedge that in there, okay? And it takes about 30 minutes or so for it to completely dry. And I have some that I've already done. So depending again on the size of your stick, you have to measure it so that it fits the inside of the hole. Okay. I'm also using different size spools. We have some spools that are this size and some that are larger. And that's key when you are putting yours together to put more than one on your board. You want to have one that's high, one that's low, and one that's in between, kind of like Goldilocks. That way when they start spinning, they don't bump into one another. So what I've done is I've already done this one. Now as you can see, I have my spool and my stick. And I left the stick on here so you could see exactly how this is assembled. But again, you want to cut this before because it's hard to do that once you insert it. You want it to make sure that it does spin around. You do not want to glue this onto your board, otherwise it won't move. My second spool, is a little bit smaller and I have already glued a bead on top because I'm going to put my CD but I wanted you to see how it's actually done without the ornament. You slide that inside and again because I already have cut this one I'm going to use my bead and I'm going to insert my bead right here like so. And when you're putting it on here, you want to make sure it's not too tight. If you press down hard and it's hard to move it, it's going to be hard to spin it too. So I'm going to pull that out just a little bit so it should move around pretty freely. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I already have a cord that is through this first hole. You want to make sure that you use a cord that does not stretch and we're gonna wrap around our spool, making sure that you're wrapping it in the same direction. Because when you pull it, both of them will spin. You put a third one here, the same thing. So make sure that you don't do one one way and one the other way. It's either clockwise or counterclockwise, but they both need to be the same. So now, I'm going to take, I'm going to pull the string just a little bit more and I'm going to insert it in this other hole. So then I'll put my beads on afterward. So now we're going to test it. And as you can see, you can decorate the outside of your board any way that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my string. Okay, that's moving. And then I'm going to pull it this way. 
and as you can see they're both moving so that's what's going to look like when I put my CD on here and if I put another one in here then they will all spin just remember they need to be different heights so they don't knock each other over and there you have it your spinning ornament so I think it's time for you to get started so let's start spinning our ornaments. See you soon. Bye.